All right, guys, we are still continuing to follow our top story this afternoon regarding the IRS whistleblowers testifying before the House Oversight Committee. We heard a lot of compelling testimony, specifically from the whistleblowers, Republicans asking very pointed questions, but Democrats, they were just putting on a show. Let's go back to our guest. Michael Grimm will join us again. And also joining me is Mike Davis, founder of Article 3 Project. So, Mike Davis, I want to ask you first the question. Let's talk about, again, about Joe Ziegler. Let's take a look at his resume. He's been with the IRS for 13 years. He said he's a Democrat who simply wants to do the right thing. This is not about politics. He's the lead investigator on the Hunter Biden case. Also, Gary Shapley, the other whistleblower, he's been with the IRS 14 years. These are two veteran agents with amazing records. So what's the left's excuse? How are they going to kind of parlay this and smear, smear the two of them? Because you know that's what's next. Well, that's a very good question because these two whistleblowers are very brave to come forward and they're doing it for the right reasons. They have nothing to gain by doing this and everything to lose. And it's amazing that they're doing this because this is so much corruption within the Biden Justice Department and an IRS. They are covering up millions and millions and millions of dollars of corrupt, illegal foreign payments to the Bidens. And it's pretty clear that President Biden is compromised by these foreign payments and his son Hunter was his bag man. So Michael Graham, you're a former FBI agent. There's how many agents would you say? There's it's tens of thousands of agents, right? All, all, all across all the agencies. Sure. For, for example, the FBI has 11,000 plus agents. Last time I checked. Right. You know, when I was in, it was 11,000. So these plus are just nationwide. Two, these are just two IRS agents that came forward to say the truth because they feel like something is going wrong here. Gary Shapley, he said that the investigation was slow walk. They weren't even allowed to interview Hunter. They were uh, testified today during the hearing that they were only able to just kind of glance at the laptop. They said it's unprecedented. They've oh, never had like such so many roadblocks put before them. How many other agents do you think there are out there kind oh. of, you know, have experienced the same thing and they're they're contemplating whether or not they should come forward? I would say at this point there's probably 20, 30, maybe 40, 50 agents when you include the January 6th investigation, the investigations into uh, Donald Trump, all of these different investigations that many of which were bogus investigations, you have to have 20, 30, 40, 50 agents that have had to take a step back and say, what the heck is going on with our agency? And this, this is really upsetting because there is nothing to gain for these agents and they will lose everything. It's not just their career. The, they play so dirty at these levels that even their personal lives will be destroyed over this. They will be completely discredited, and they're going to lose everything. I mean, I've seen whistleblowers in the FBI be destroyed. Their reputation, their professional reputation, everything just taken from them simply because they lived up to, ter to their oath and put our country first. Mike Davis, we, we're seeing Biden. He's been deteriorating. We, we're seeing him. Uh, do we have our guests up? Do we still have him up? All right, let's go. There you have it, uh, Mr. Davis. So we're still, we're, we're seeing Biden. He's deteriorating before our eyes. They're propping him up, the Democrats, to, to run for president. Now we have all of these scandals surrounding him. We, we, we find out about cocaine in the White House. Really? Did, how can Democrats actually say, w by looking us straight in the eye, that they actually care about democracy and care about this country? All Democrats care about is power, and that's very clear that they have this corrupt, compromised president of the United States. He's clearly compromised by, you know, up to $30 million in these foreign bribes and other foreign corruption, according to House Oversight Chairman James Comer. This is unsustainable. We cannot have a president who's compromised like this. And it's very clear that the next step that needs to happen here is, is the House needs to open impeachment proceedings, at least with Attorney General Merrick Garland, uh, U.S. Attorney David Weiss, and, and probably others, because they are clearly covering up for Joe Biden, their boss, and his bag man son, Hunter. And meanwhile, the media is simply too busy. They want to praise the guy <laughs> who's investigating Trump, you know, special counsel Jack Smith, for getting a Subway sandwich. Turns out even Jack Smith can't resist a $5 footlong. That's according to what we see right there, new and exclusive CNN video of the special counsel at Subway. But what is important is the imagery here. 
uh, they clearly wanted right. us to see him. He stood in line just like everybody else. Uh, and I, I couldn't tell whether it was a foot long or was it a, uh, a six-inch sub. Jack Smith going to Subway today is a message to Donald Trump. What is that message? I don't understand I, how him standing in line, what's he supposed Lydia, to do, come in and grab the, grab the sandwich? Well, I mean, actually, make it Actually, if you think himself? about it, though, that's how desperate this is. The, the charters are so ludicrous. They have to focus on where he went for lunch and him being a regular guy eating a Subway sandwich. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of here, because it's 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 re it's absolutely ridiculous. So, but when you look at the charges here, they're absurd. Any any good lawyer would sit down and say this is this can never be proven because there are no facts to support this. There, it's bogus allegations. So, what are we going to focus on? How great this prosecutor is, who by the way does not have a very attractive resume. He's been overturned. He's been you know, he's had all these problems with with his cases in the past. So, I think all they can do is focus on again the shiny little object. Don't pay attention to the facts and what's really going on and that this is a bogus investigation and it's clearly a political persecution. Let's focus on what he's having for lunch. I know, exactly. Uh, and Mike, Mike Davis, your, your response. So Jack Smith is a disgraced prosecutor who Merrick Garland's brought back from exile in The Hague. Jack Smith was overturned eight to nothing by the Supreme Court. It would have been nine to nothing, but Justice Scalia passed away for his bogus political prosecution of Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell, a potential Republican presidential candidate in 2016. Garland knows this guy is a scud missile, and that's the point. He's being brought back to take out another presidential Republican presidential candidate, uh, Donald Trump. And it doesn't matter if he gets overturned by the Supreme Court several years from now. But it's going to be mission accomplished if he takes out Trump before 2024. Mm -hmm. And what's next? They're going to ask, oh, did he add lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise yeah. on his sandwich there? Because there's no substance to the indictment coming, so that's what they'll focus on. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. We have a lot more to discuss right after this.